Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I don't feel like holding the camera today, and excuse me for not having my shirt on, but uh, it's too hot, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's already getting hot during the day. I had a long conversation with uh, this this guy, and I wanted to tell y'all the story. Yeah, I gotta make mama some more tea. This grass from can't get a good drink. <laughs> This guy from Northeast Arkansas called me. His name's Greg. And this is a perfect example of uh, where my channel's going to go. I don't know what happens in life, but I think Greg's a special person in my life because he called me up. And he, uh, we was going, we, me and my wife shot this video. We was driving down the street and this guy calls me up. And he says, man, I was just on those streets no more than just a little minute ago. I said, I used to live in Texas. He said, I'm so proud of Texas. Greg, be proud of Texas, man. He's fixing to move back to Texas from Northeast Arkansas. And uh, he's getting old and worn out just like me, man. Got all, got, got some problems with his physical health. And uh, I, I, I guess he watches me because I inspire him, man. And he sees that I'm a real guy. And he, he, he even, he even uh, asked me uh, some questions. And I told him about my past and body work. And, you know, I do know how to do a little bit of paint body. And it's because of this one person named Kelly Holden. And Kelly Holden owned a body shop, man. And uh, uh, he used to take his stuff over there and visit with Kelly Holden. And then uh, I just walked up on the body shop one day. I think I drove by it. And there wasn't no help wanted sign or nothing. And, I, and I'd always had a, a, a burning desire to do that kind of work. Thought it was neat. I just love to see in a new painted car. And I like to work around them. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a long video. And Kelly hired me. Kelly hired me to work on mail jeeps. And I would scuff and and shoot mail jeeps just one right after another and and uh at first i had runs like crazy and then after each car that i got get mail jeep i got through scuffing and shooting i mean they didn't even want us to put primer on the spots that we 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 scuffed down we had to scuff the stripes and we had to scuff the eagle down and everything and then we would just paint it they wanted to auction them off and so I learned how to do that, but Kelly was a genius with the with with body work, man. Collision work, he was real good at it. He stayed away from uh, uh, classic restorations. He did drive a 1972 Chevy truck with uh, midnight blue with pearl uh, with uh, pearl metal flake or no a uh, pearl pearl blue blue pearl. <clears throat> so during the day, whenever the sun would shine down it and beat down on it, it was a dark, rich blue, and at night it was black as night. And uh, Kelly and me became pretty good friends. He worked me around there. He, he, I got under his skin like crazy with my hyperactivity. I mean, he was like, he, he loved me a lot, and he, and he let me hang out with his family. And he, his uh, wife used to work at a bar, and uh, he got my wife to, and she made good money, man. She'd, she'd make uh, good tips, you know, them, them bars that stay open all night. She made she made good tips, you know, and uh, his wife his wife made good tips and come home and I've seen her him ask his wife and she had just a wad a thick wad of money, and my wife uh, he says you want your your wife to to make money she can make lots of money down working at the bar, and uh, said yeah so she went to work there and I worked at the body shop and so me and Kelly we had a we had a good thing going on dude and uh, uh, one day I got hurt you know. Uh, on a, I had bought a dirt bike and I got hurt and it shattered. It looked like an hourglass going to. My wife said it looked like just stars in the sky. The bones were just in tiny pieces and it was all over the inside of your body. And they they put me back together and they uh, put rods and screws in my back and uh, they gave me disability. And he says, man, why don't you just lay low and stay on your disability? I said, Kelly, man, I can't do this, man. This is only. Uh, uh, I think at the time that I was being offered it at the age of 26 years old uh, uh, and I hadn't worked hardly at all in my life it was just penny it was pennies a day you know I'm not saying pennies a day but it was just dollars a day it wasn't really much by the time y'all looked at the long run of it and I and uh, I had a good friend that that uh, come to me that knew heating and air and uh, I was crooked and all in the back and stuff, and he, and, he, and, he, and he reached down to me, and he says, man, he says, I need to talk to you. And I go, why? He says, but I want to talk to you by yourself. And I go, okay. And he, and, 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 uh, uh, my, he asked my wife, he says, could you please leave the room? And he says, trust me. And he, and he, and he whispered something in her ear. And, and I don't know what he whispered in his ear, but as soon as she left the room, he snacked me up by my shirt 
and he pressed me against the wall and he put his sweaty ass nose right next to mine. He says, do you want to do something with your life? Do you want to make this, man? You're young. Let's do this, man. You need a job? I'm going to give you a job. Let's do it. And I go, dude, I'm all broke up, man. I'm done for the, I'm done. And he goes, no. He says, this is heating and air. It's not that damn hard to get up in there in them rafters and run duck around, dude. You can still walk. Yeah, you're going to feel pain, he says, but I'm telling you. He says, I've had problems with my, my, at the time he was having problems with his hip. You know, and he was an older fella. He says, you got to work this out, man, and work through the pain if you want to make a living for your family. And I did, a little bit. And then I went back to Kelly, and I wanted to s slow down and meet up with Kelly because we was always mixing back and forth. And Kelly told me, he says, man, he says, you're hopper as hell, bro, and I like you a lot. But if you want to work with me, you can, but you're not going to make as much money as you're making over there in the heating area field. He says, you're, he says, if you can get your butt up there and learn from that old man and learn what he has to offer, or you can come with me and you're going to have to fight yourself to slow down because paint body work, you got to slow down and you got to do stuff at a, and think about everything possible before you shoot the paint on because it will screw your ass in the end. And I'm not the one that's going to get screwed because of your hopper activity and cutting corners or... He says, you're like a little whirlwind. I got to go behind you and check everything. He says, I would rather just do it once. He says, but but if, if you make the choice, you can either fight yourself and let me mold you into this person, or you can go out there and do the glory and something that's easy and natural to you and something your ex energy exertion can be a positive and, and, and set your ass on fire and roll. And so I did. I quit doing paint and body work for Kelly. And I went out and I made a living all those years doing heating and air installations. And I got in an accident up in there in Louisiana and I couldn't do installs anymore. I was, my foot just, it was broke off all, all the way. And the only thing I had hanging was the skin. My bone was hanging out of the back of my leg. And so I got better and I started headed back to Texas, man. And I said, honey, she come across, you know, how you got Facebook pages. You know how you got the little pop-ups that says you're in the area with so-and-so? Well, my wife says, uh, Kathy just called. Kathy just called. And, 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 or Kathy just noticed me that we're, Kathy's living in the area. So I said, well, text her back and find out what the deal is. I mean, let's get the, come on, I want to go see Kelly. I want to go see Kelly. Hey, I can finally learn how to do paint and body work. I'm so excited at this point in my life that, that I've straightened out my life and I'm going straight line. And then I, I get on the phone and, and she makes phone calls and talks to people and she hangs up the phone and she says, I don't, I don't want to disappoint you, honey. I said, what, baby? What, what can you say that's going to disappoint me? We're going to, going to see Kelly. I was so happy and in a mood. She says, Kelly, Kelly's, Kelly's dead, baby. I said, what happened? Why is Kelly dead? She said, he had two twins with Kathy while we've been going to Louisiana for many years, coming back to Texas and then going back to Louisiana. We lost contact with her, but she said that they had two twins and that he grew up and he was still running his own paint and body shop you know he was getting even older and uh he went down the wrong road man with that with the juice man he he surrounded himself in, inside of an addiction and uh he hung himself in his paint and body shop at that moment my my world crumbled because I'd made up my mind to do something and he wasn't there no more and so then I went to that other body shop that y'all know that I went to and I told him that story and he let me work there for a little bit and this shit got out of hand with my hyperactivity again with his ass and it got under his skin just like with Kelly same problems so I left I left that other body shop too because of the same damn that's what it boils down to the same damn stupid ass problems you know whenever I was straight everybody thought I was fucked up and excuse me I'm cussing I'm sorry for cussing y'all but, but that's the way it was and when I wasn't messed up everybody thought I was screwed up you know uh, and that's really a confusing thing that you gotta see the pattern of you know when people think that you're really 
high as a damn kite and you're not and you're trying to be good and people are just keep coming into your life and asking you hey man hey man because they think that you're just naturally you, that you got to be on something type of shit and you're not you're being good then when they happen to find something then you go over there and jump on that side of the fence and yeah you coast a line but it, it it's just the you know and and adderall's and and that sudden thing is, is is close in a lot of ways but here's the problem you got to accept you got to go through all the problems of all the other people out there that are that are taking that shit just to just to basically get high and they're they're ripping people off and stealing from everybody and they're just waking up in the morning uh uh wanting to go steal something to go get more uh drugs and i wouldn't man i would go to work and and make a living you know and i would just and I kind of, I had a, 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 an addiction on that is because I thought that it, it was helping me. And in the long run, the shit you got to go through to get the help that you're trying to give yourself and be around the people that you're trying to be around, it doesn't work. It just don't work. It's not a recipe that's going to work. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm at in this life right now. And, and Greg calls me up and he talks to me and it felt good for him to know my story and and see that i was real and and he sees past all the haters because we've known each other i mean i could i could even say people that worked in the body shop and he would i would say and i would and we would say the name together mike and charles and and what happened to mike mike went off and 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 still does paint and body work but he uh he ended up uh having some more major health issues and setbacks in his life and now i don't know what he's doing i think he can't work no more i don't know if he's still working i don't me and uh greg got a lot of talking to do we got a lot of catching up with uh kelly's ex uh they ended up getting a divorce i think that's why kelly hung himself is because he he loved that woman with all his heart and he hung himself or maybe it's because the wrong the it, maybe it's because some people came back around uh that he was involved with some of that crap i tell you that's in your life maybe he owed somebody some money and they took him out because that's who found him the person that found him was confirmed as his supplier that's who found him so no one knows what really happened we just know that the the shop guy calls in says he's hanging from a chain in the shop and that was the end of his life. But Greg remembers him, and, and uh, Greg Kelly was a good guy in heart, man. He really was, and he just had he had some issues, man. And I hated to hear that story, and, and I really wish he was still here with me because we could be standing together and still living here. He just gave up, and that's one thing I've never. The things that kept the things that kept me from giving up all them years was my babies, my babies growing up in the world without a father, and not knowing how to put moral values and, and standards in their life as a child so when they get older they can always come back to the basics and learn and make the right decisions. Do as I say, not as I do is why you raise your children when you're like me. And we did. And my wife has always had her foot. I swear, my wife, you might as well, if she had boots on, she might as well just leave the boot in there because you're going to stick it back in there the rest of the day, all day, any day. Every day, my wife had her foot in my butt, you know, and screaming and hollering. And, and, and not every day. It was like I would go through the week working hard, and the weekend would come, and I would want to party my ass off. And she always had her foot hanging out of my ass every weekend, I'm telling you. And then uh, that was just the way it was, man. She was the one that held the family together. She was, She's always stood up for right, and she always, uh, I fought her the whole way, you know, of, of that past. But now here we are with the future and what I'm doing. And uh, Greg's going to move back to Fort Worth. He's going to start buying and selling cars around here, man. He's going to start being on a hustle. He, he's... Uh, he, 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 that's all he does. He just, he gets the truck trailer and he starts looking for cars to buy. And if they're junk, he just hauls them to the scrapyard. And that's the way he just drives something around and makes money. And, uh, sometimes he come across his classic cars and something that he can throw a little, a dime or two on or a dollar or a buck or whatever you want to call about it. And, uh, start m uh, producing a little bit of money. And I think Greg's going to come down here and spend some time with me. And maybe uh, show me some roots on that. I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm the kind of guy I just want to buy a car and, and spend an hour or two at a time, get up on my foot and do some sanding or something, or sit down and do some sanding, and then take it at my own pace. And probably take me two years to build a, 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 a ride to sell on the side, two, at least two years, unless, unless you happen to get lucky.
you know all the cars that you find you know some of them just need a paint job you know scuff it and shoot it and send it out you know some of them some of them even uh have some problems with the wires bro who cares man uh it, it's a nice car the interior is good in it you're getting it for 75 dollars and it runs and it only has a head gasket blown on it hey let's scuff this thing down shoot it and then ask four or five hundred for it and somebody will pay that and put a new motor in it you know what i'm saying that's that's where that's where I've been. That's where I've always been with with cars on the side. I've always had my side gig. Even I would take money and lose on it sometimes. I'd take money and buy a car sometimes on the side, and I would go to put my hands on it. And by the time I got through spending all my money on it, sometimes I broke even. Sometimes I I lost money. But I looked at it like this. Well, it's better than having a credit card and going into the negative and having to pay the interest on it. I would rather pay the interest on mistakes on taking my money this route and losing you know what i'm saying I, I would rather i would rather do that than, than than pay a credit card bill if i happen to pay the interest i guarantee you that that all my life that i fixed up cars and sold them on the side for what they was just find something on the side of the road and buy it and sell it put a paint job on it sell it I, i've came out a lot better than just going over here with a credit card and charging everything on credit and then having to pay it back later i guarantee you the the interest on me paying back a credit card would be a hell of a lot uh uh harmful by putting my money into this saving my money little by little in this area buying little parts here and there to fix whatever this is which is a car and then sell it and 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 come out maybe a hundred dollars in the negative at times that's the same thing as paying credit on a credit card so that's what I've always did. I've never relied upon credit ever, ever. And I got, I got uh, credit to where my bad credit is in the past has been because of some damn phone company or uh, a doctor bill that didn't get paid by Medicare or or my doctor bill didn't get paid by a private insurance company or, or by Blue Cross Blue Shield. Whenever I was you know up in the uh, peak of my uh, uh, earning a living. Uh, <coughs> That was just what I did all this time, man. That was my side gig. And now I'm trying to turn my side gig into my main gig. And that's what Greg is probably going to uh, show me the ropes on, to where I ain't uh, stumbling so far on one car, you know. I can just go out there with him, and he can show me the ropes. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to meet the guy. Y'all are going to see me and him shake hands. It's gonna. I have a feeling it's going to be a beautiful uh, friendship that we have. And he, he it, it, he's helping me confirm and prove my story on this youtube channel he's just living proof that he's been where i've been know why i'm now my way know why i like paint and body and and know the seeds that were planted and instilled in my soul to want to do paint and body work and and to have a hustle it's called the hustle here in fort worth texas it's the hustle with cars you can use them to make money and there's there are a dime a dozen i mean uh <laughs> i've even known some people just go to the the impound yards where they're auctioning them off and buy cars uh get, get, get a dealer's license i tried that i tried getting a dealer's license uh, in, in in my peak days back but before i did my heating and air and it just was it was a thing to where you could lose your butt quick with some money in in a in a in a in an auction you, you know there's just a lot of things that you you need to catch them before they go to the auction you need to catch them and put ads in the paper I will buy junk cars type of stuff and that's what I did I started making money doing that and then I met Kelly and then he said go to heating and air and now here I am today so that's a long story hey <laughs> I can't wait to see you Greg I'm sorry we had to lose our friend Kelly I'm sorry we had to lose our friend Kelly but look man at least we're here and we can look back at that and know that we 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 uh we put we we put in our time with the bull crap and we graduated and gave our shirt back and we seen we seen the light and that's what you got to see you got to see the light you got to change it you know you got to turn that light on and up there you know and you got to start thinking different you got to reprogram every every uh inch of your body you got to reprogram i mean not you got to reprogram every every step you take everything that you do every time you make a decision you, you got to program yourself to keep yourself out of situations. You got to recognize uh, the patterns that you had in the past and the patterns that you have now. Uh, I'm having problems now trying to help people, and I ain't even in the position of being helped. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what my wife always told me. Every time you go help somebody, you take away from yourself because you're sometimes in the position not to be helping people. 
And, and I tell them, well, 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 well. She says, well, now it's just, you put in your time to helping. You've helped people all your life. Now it's time to <laughs> focus on Olympia is what she tells me. Back lay like crazy. But anyway, uh, Greg, I can't wait till you get down here. He's going to, uh, I think he's going to live in a, a travel trailer. And uh, welcome back, Greg. I can't wait till you get here, man. And um, I really can't wait for you to get here, man. I, 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 my heart goes out to you on the phone. We talk all the time. He's uh, wanting to move from Arkansas, northeast Arkansas, back down to here. I think his kids are going to be up there still. So he'll probably be going spending time periodically going back up there to visit them. Uh, but uh, he's going to move back to Texas where he can, uh, I think that's just where his heart's at. You know, you just want to go back to where you come from and 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 do what you did. I, I think he, he did do uh, buying and selling cars up there. He just picked up one, made some good money on it. But he's he's he, he doesn't he doesn't want to stay there, man. There he can make it there, but uh, he just chooses to home is where the heart is, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to come home, and and uh, I'll, I'll uh, shoot footage if he's not camera shy and see what kind of a guy he is. Maybe together we can change a lot of people's minds and get people out there to working on their stuff and uh, overcoming the depression that they have. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Limster out! And see you later, Greg. And rest in peace, Kelly Holden, man. Rest in peace, dude. Bye-bye.